we all know that cell is the basic structural and functional unit of living organisms structurally and functionally similar cells are grouped together to form tissues but have you ever wondered how these cells are connected to each other to form tissues yes it is due to presence of cell adhesion molecules and the ability of cells to adhere each other is a fundamental property in evolution of multicellularity and today we shall study about cell adhesion molecules they also play important role in formation of intercellular junctions but before we start this is pratima and you are watching planet physiology if you are new to my channel do consider to subscribe it and press the bell icon to keep in touch with the latest uploads okay let us begin with the topic cell adhesion molecules are important components of intercellular connections they attach cells to each other and to the basal lamina as well as you can note in this picture here are the cell to cell attachments and these are the cell to basal lamina attachments most of the cell adhesion molecules are attached to the proteins called as laminin laminin is a family of crossed shaped proteins and form a layer in the basal lamina as you can note in the picture their extracellular domains possess alpha beta and gamma chains with receptor sites intracellular domain of laminin is attached to the cell membrane through integrin receptors as well as other plasma membrane molecules for example dystroglycan glycoprotein complex in case of muscles as indicated in this diagram each cell adhesion molecule has intracellular transcellular and extracellular domains intracellular domain usually attaches to the cytoskeleton and also involved in cell signaling mechanisms whereas extracellular domain attaches to the other proteins of the neighboring cells based on this extracellular interactions adhesion molecules can be divided into two categories as those with homophilic binding and with heterophilic binding in homophilic binding cell adhesion molecules bind with the same type of cell adhesion molecules of another cell as indicated here In case of heterophilic binding two different adhesion molecules of neighboring cells bind with each other cell adhesion molecules are usually classified into four families namely integrins immunoglobulin superfamily cadherins and selectin but some authors also consider a fifth family called as cd44 let us study these families one by one with respect to their interactions and functions first is integrins these are heterodimers that means they are made up of two separate subunits alpha and beta they interact with variety of receptors that means they show heterophilic binding in this picture interaction between integrin and ig superfamily protein is shown integrins perform two main functions first is cellular interaction with extracellular matrix and also with the neighboring cells by attaching the cells to the extracellular matrix through proteins like laminin collagen or fibronectins they create stable cell adhesions and they also help in formation of extracellular matrix they also show intercellular interactions through various adhesion molecules on the neighboring cells or bacteria or viruses for example integrins are involved in platelet plug formation in case of any vascular damage or reaction between immune cells and the antigens next important function of integrins is 
to regulate various intracellular signaling cascades which mediate cell motility survival proliferation and differentiation thus integrins play important role in migration of cells during embryogenesis immune response wound healing and mainly regulate g1 phase of cell cycle next adhesion molecule is immunoglobulin superfamily adhesion molecules it is one of the largest and diverse family of proteins and include proteins involved in cell recognition binding and adhesion these are usually classified into vascular neural intercellular and nectin cell adhesion molecules some of the important immunoglobulin superfamily molecules are class 1 and 2 major histocompatibility complex proteins co receptors on t cells like cd4 and cd8 and receptors for various antigens all these members possess one or more immunoglobulin like domain and hence they are called as immunoglobulin superfamily their extracellular domain mediate calcium independent interactions with other cell adhesion molecules so this is the only group of cell adhesion molecules that function in calcium independent manner they show both homophilic as well as heterophilic adhesions this picture represents homophilic binding in the upper panel where two ig superfamily adhesion molecules of neighboring cells interact with each other lower panel indicates interaction of ig superfamily molecule with integrin and hence heterophilic binding intracellular domain of these proteins often interact with cytoskeletal proteins and hence their extracellular interaction is usually associated with intracellular signaling due to their diverse interactions at various levels ig superfamily molecules play important role in development of nervous system mainly by regulating formation growth and branching of neurites and also establishment of synaptic contacts they also regulate synaptic composition function and plasticity which is essential for learning and memory due to their interactions with cytoskeletal components ig superfamily molecules play important role in cytoskeletal assembly also the next family is cadherin which includes more than 100 proteins in it and these are classified into classical cadherins desmosomal cadherins protocadherins and unconventional cadherins classical cadherins show homophilic binding while desmosomal cadherins show homophilic as well as heterophilic bindings cadherin family adhesion molecules play essential role in morphogenesis and homeostasis classical cadherins like e cadherin or n cadherins play important role during embryogenesis in formation of tissues and organs and later to maintain their structure as well as cellular movement desmosomal cadherins resist cell damage due to shear or pressure intracellular domains of cadherins attach to cytoskeleton and modulate their reactions cadherin also establish and stabilize apico basal cell polarity by preventing lateral movements of membrane proteins and lastly they aid in formation of tight junctions as well as desmosomes now coming to the last category selectins the word selectin is derived from selected lectins and lectins are the carbohydrate recognizing proteins so these are single chain transmembrane proteins which show calcium dependent heterophilic binding with carbohydrates based on their locations three varieties of selectins are known namely l selectin which are found mainly on leucocytes e selectin found on endothelial cells 
and p selectin which are found predominantly on platelets but also on endothelial cells selectins play important role in acute as well as chronic inflammation they allow margination and chemotaxis of wbcs and help them to reach the site of infection they also play role in cancer metastasis now a just word about cd44 adhesion molecules these are single chain molecules found on all the cells they are involved in cell to cell and cell to matrix interactions and mainly attach to the hyaluronic acid which is an integral component of the extracellular matrix but they also show attachment with the other matrix proteins like collagen and laminin the major physiological role of cd44 is to maintain organ and tissue structure via cell to cell and cell to matrix adhesion but certain isoforms can also mediate lymphocyte activation and some present chemicals or the hormones to the other cells their expression is increased in cancer cells so they are the potential markers for cancer detection as well as target for cancer therapy here are the important functions of various cell adhesion molecules they play important role during embryonic development mainly in formation of tissues and organs and their maintenance in adult life cell adhesion molecules strengthen the cell adhesions and thus prevent apoptosis when cells lose their contact with the basement membrane cell adhesion molecules initiate intracellular signals for apoptosis they also play role in cell movement inflammation and wound healing and the last they help to conduct signals in and out of the cell and play role in tumor metastasis so let us summarize the important points of today's session cell adhesion molecules are important components of intracellular connections and possess extracellular transcellular and cytoplasmic domains immunoglobin superfamily is the only family that forms calcium independent interactions which are homophilic as well as heterophilic in nature these are mainly concerned with development of nervous system and cytoskeletal assembly integrins are mainly concerned with cell adhesions with basement membrane and adjacent cells and also cell mobility survival and proliferation they show heterophilic calcium dependent binding cadherins are also calcium dependent adhesion molecules that mainly show homophilic bindings while few subtypes show heterophilic attachments they are concerned with formation and maintenance of tissues and organs as well as apico basal polarity in epithelial cells they also help in formation of tight junctions and desmosomes selectins mainly show calcium dependent heterophilic attachments and play important role in inflammation by allowing migration and chemotaxis in wbcs cd44 are heterophilic attachment molecules that maintain structure of tissues and organs and also activate lymphocytes that's all for this session thank you if you enjoy my presentations press the like button and share it with your friends for more such videos subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you for watching and see you in the next video